Hi, welcome to Infinity and Beyond, a video series where we'll be covering actual rocket science, brought to you by Astronomy Magazine. Each episode, we'll take a brief dive into a different cosmic topic, covering it from the basics to the latest research. My name is Abigail Wollenbach, and today I'll be taking you to Earth's less habitable sister planet, Venus. Venus might share the same name as the Roman goddess of love and beauty, but it is neither lovely nor beautiful. And it even had to use a face tuning mechanism millions of years ago to smooth out its surface imperfections. Since Venus is about the same size and composition as Earth, we might expect its geology to be similar. This is only partly true, however. About 75% of the surface of Venus consists of lowland lava plains, resembling the basaltic ocean bases of Earth, but they were not produced in quite the same way. Venus might share some similarities to Earth, but by large, it's hell. To understand the geology of Venus, scientists need a global picture of its surface. But this is difficult to get because of the thick clouds packed with sulfuric acid that surround the planet. NASA's Magellan spacecraft mapped Venus in 1990 to 1992 with powerful radar, which can pierce through the planet's dense clouds. This produced the first detailed global view of Venus's surface, providing much of the data we still use today. Bright features on these radar images are an indication of rough terrain, whereas darker regions are smoother. These radar maps of Venus reveal a planet that looks much the way Earth might if our planet's surface were not constantly being changed by erosion and deposition of sediment, which basically means the consequence of wind and water. There is no water on Venus, and the surface wind speeds are low from the thick atmosphere and extremely high air pressure that almost nothing obscures or erases the complex geological features produced by the movements of Venus's crust, volcanic eruptions, and meteorite impacts. Venus is in the inner solar system. Like other bodies in its neighborhood, it withstood the late heavy bombardment of numerous collisions early in the solar system's history. One of the first questions astronomers addressed with the high-resolution Magellan images was the age of the surface of Venus. They discovered it has a relatively fresh face, which many astronomers previously thought was very unlikely. It became clear that something catastrophic must have happened to resurface the planet, because almost all of the large craters, of which Magellan found very few, look fresh with little degradation. Apparently, Venus experienced some sort of planet-wide volcanic convulsion around 750 million years ago. Magellan helped to point the solution toward a cataclysmic volcanic resurfacing, but this mysterious upheaval is unlike anything in terrestrial history. After that event, Venus became incredibly hot and toxic, and its atmosphere filled with heat-trapping carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Venus has been volcanically active in the recent geological past, about 2 million to 3 million years ago, which is a blink of, of the eye in geological time. There is a possibility that its crust may have thickened over time. This would have trapped the planet's heat, eventually causing it to flood with molten lava. Scientists still haven't figured out exactly what happened that caused Venus to wipe itself clean. Although many mysteries remain, they're worth pursuing. Learning more about Earth's sister planet can teach us more about our planet in many ways and how it might evolve over time. One thing is for sure, and that is we must continue marching onwards because the universe sure isn't gonna slow down for us to catch up. Remember, there is no limit when you're watching Infinity and Beyond.